Hello, this is God's Loving Sacrifice, and I'm GLS. Someone told me the other day that God was cruel. I told them God was just. They disagreed. They found all the things that he did, like the flood and all the other punishments that he gave out, were just cruel. So I wanted to figure out, is God cruel or is he just? So I decided to look up the two words. The word just means doing what is morally right or fair, completing it to the common standard. The word cruel means willfully causing pain or suffering to others, feeling no concern about it, and enjoying the pain and distress of others. So let's look at the example that was given to me about the flood and all the people that God, quote, filled. Let's start in Genesis 6, 9 and look at why God wanted to destroy the earth. It says, this is the genealogy of Noah. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God and Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth was also corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence. So God looked upon the earth, and indeed it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. So the earth was full of wickedness. Genesis 6, 5-6 through 6 says, Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of thought of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy man who I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping things and birds of the air, for I am sorry I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So when you look at cruelty, one of the things it says about being cruel is feeling no concern about it, enjoying the pain and distress of others. God was grieved over what was going on. God was grieved that he felt the need that he had to destroy his creation. So just in what we are seeing, God wasn't being cruel. God was being just. The entire earth was evil. He could have wiped out everybody. And it wouldn't have mattered if he was cruel, but it did matter to God. And he found one perfect man whose genealogy was good. He hadn't involved himself in things he shouldn't have been involved with or people he shouldn't have been involved with. And God saved them. And he saved all the animals of the earth. So he didn't enjoy what he did. It grieved him to say that he was cruel to send a flood as a falsehood. The just person has to do what is morally right. And he has to do it to the common standard. And that's our definition of just. So would it be morally right to destroy someone who is pure evil, which is what God saw in the people of the earth? If that's not morally right, it would be like us saying it wasn't morally right to use the death penalty or life imprisonment for a serial killer. So by destroying evil, God was just and not cruel. Go back to Genesis 6.6. 6. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth and he was grieved in his heart. And when we talk about the flood, that's the one thing we need to remember. He didn't do it because he needed power. He didn't do it because he thought, oh, yeah, let's see what it's like if they drown. He did it because it was evil and it grieved him to do it. Now, the thing we need to look at is why the people of the earth became so evil. It's because God gave us free will and they chose to do the things that they did. And it was their decision that God couldn't stand. And he ended it. So it's not about God being cruel. It's about the way man uses free will that causes the issues. Another example of God being just is Peter and Judas. Peter denied Christ three times, and he chose to do that. Matthew 26, 34 says, Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say that this night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Then there was Judas, who betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. He chose to do that. Matthew 26, 14 through 16 says, Then one of the twelve disciples called, called Judas went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him to you? And they counted him out 30 pieces of silver. 
So from that time, he sought the opportunity to betray him. Both of these men turned on Jesus of their own free will. But Peter asked for forgiveness and was granted forgiveness where Judas killed himself. Matthew 27, 3 through 5 states, Then Judas, his betrayer, seeing that he had been condemned, was remorseful and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. And they said, What is it to us? You see to it. Then he threw down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. Both of these disciples betrayed Jesus. God in his love and grace would have forgiven them both. One chose faith and one chose free will. Free will is a blessing God gives us so we can make the choice of who to believe and follow. The judgment that God makes are not cruel, but morally right. Look at the children of Israel. They were freed from Egypt. They received the Ten Commandments. But they started complaining and finding ways not to go to the promised land because they didn't trust God, even though God had brought them into freedom. So God didn't allow them to enter the promised land after all they'd been through. God was not cruel about this. He just didn't allow their disobedience to go unpunished. So none of the generation that disobeyed God got to enter to the promised land. God did not keep them from the promised land. It was the decision that they made that caused it. Is God cruel? I guess it depends on which side you're on. When you are disobedient, and understand what can happen from your actions, you may think God is cruel. The truth is he's just, and your actions cause his judgments. God grieves when he hands out judgments. Second Peter 3, 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but all shall come to repentance. And that repentance is your decision, your free will, but it's God's greatest desire. Thank you.